call the um, organizational meeting to order at 5.30 p.m. on November 9th, 2020. Um, the first order of business is oath of office. So tonight we'll swear in Elizabeth Altry with the school department first. School board. I, Elizabeth R. Alteri, do swear firm that I will support the Constitution, the United States, and of this state so long as I shall continue a citizen thereof. I will. I, Elizabeth R. Alteri, do swear firm that I will faithfully discharge all the duties incumbent upon me as Ellsworth School Board member for the City of Ellsworth according to the Constitution and laws of the state and the charter and ordinances of the city. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. And then we'll ask uh, Swearing Dale A. Hamilton for um, City Council. I, Dale A. Hamilton, do swear affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state so long as I shall continue a citizen thereof. I, Dale A. Hamilton, do swear affirm that I will faithfully discharge all the duties incumbent upon me as city councilor for the city of Ellsworth according to the Constitution and laws of the state and the charter and ordinances of this city. Jean C. Lyons do swear affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state so long as I shall continue a citizen thereof. I will. I, Jean C. Lyons, do swear affirm that I will faithfully discharge all the duties incumbent upon me as city councilor for the city of Ellsworth according to the Constitution and laws of the state and the charter and ordinances of this city. I will. Thank you. of chairperson for the ensuing year. Um, I'll open the floor for nominations for chair. I move to nominate Dale Hamilton. Second. Are there any further? I move nomination cease. Thank you, counselors. Um, so, item four, uh, time and place for our regular monthly meeting. Mr. Chairman, move that the council hold regular monthly meetings with the city hall council chambers at 7 p.m. on the third Monday of each month, except the January and February meetings shall be held on the second Monday of the month. Should the day of the meeting fall on a holiday or election day, the meeting so scheduled will be held on the prior Monday at the same hour and place. Second. A motion a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Item five, time for agenda to close. 
Mr. Chairman, move the City Council meeting agenda close on Monday noon prior to the regular monthly meeting. If that day falls on a holiday, the agenda will close at noon on the prior, on the next prior Friday. We have a motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Item six, time for agenda to go to the news media. Mr. Chairman, move that the City Council meeting agenda be delivered to the local news meeting no later than Monday prior to the regular monthly meeting of the Ellsworth City Council. Have a second. Mo motion a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Item seven, manner in which meetings are to be conducted. Mr. Chairman, I move the meetings of the City Council be conducted according to rules of order previously adopted by the City Council, a copy of which is attached and shall continue in force until the Monday next following the regular city election pursuant to Article 2, Section 2.07 of the City Char Charter. Each meeting is to be conducted by Robert's Rules of Order unless otherwise provided for. Second. Second. Have a motion to second. Um, any discussion? I would just like to add, this came up um, at a meeting which we did talk about. Um, and so at this meeting, we can adopt other rules. Um, I would just like to offer as um, consistent with a discussion recommendation from some community members that we will, um, as a council, individual members, that we will vote on issues and take a position unless there is a specific conflict, at which time we would identify the conflict and abstain from the vote. Um, and that would be the only time that we would um, abstain would be during that time when there's a, a specified conflict. So I would like to add that as a recommendation to, um, to adopt to, to the motion. Mr. Chairman, that's fairly broad. I was under the impression, as we discussed earlier, that the conflicts be defined as a uh, financial conflict of interest or personal conflict of interest. Yes, that's tr true, it, and it is defined um, elsewhere. But yes, I would I would agree with that that it's specified in terms of uh, those matters. Accept the amendment. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Any further discussion on that? So the the motion, as read, with the addition of um, the expectation of voting, unless there's a defined conflict, um, as stated, and we can. So with that. All in favor? It's unanimous. Item eight, council stipend in the manner of its distribution. Maximum allowable stipend is $2,950 for the chair and $2,360 for counselors. Uh, amount budgeted for FY 2021 chairman is uh, 2,500 and counselors 2,000. Chairman, move the council chair will receive a stipend of $2,500. Members of the city council will receive a stipend in the amount of $2,000 per counselor for the period of no November 2020 to October 2021. Distribution of the stipend will be at the chairman's earliest discretion. So I would say at the next available um, warrant. Second. Motion a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Item nine, appointment of finance committee. Um, I would appoint Councilor Blanchett, Councilor Grindle, uh, myself, and as an alternate, Councilor Miller. Item 10. Uh, signing of the warrants. Mr. 
Mr. Chairman, I move the warrants be directed to the uh, treasurer for payment, be signed by the city manager and three members, uh, I'm sorry, uh, two members of the finance committee. I'm sorry, I got motion second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Item 11 is adjournment. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Meeting is adjourned. Hey, Gene, all of me.